In this video, I'm going to show you how to put an AI agent inside a Go High Level page. So inside the landing page, there can be a lot of different use cases for that. For instance, it could be for customer support or it could be for generating leads because the bot is able to fetch information from the conversation and then follow up. So first of all, you will want to have a RAG agent. So to deploy a RAG agent inside NIN, this is actually very simple. I'm just going to use one that we already have. So inside the Aka Extreme community, you just need to head over to Customer AI Support Agent and then download this file, add it onto your computer, and then here are the next step. You want to create a new workflow. I'll delete this one. And here I click those three dots and then import from file and then support chatbot. And now we have an IN RAG Agent build. So I'm going to save it. And here I'm going to describe uh, what you need to pay attention to in order to make it work on a landing page. First of all, you want to have a trigger when chat message is received. And here you need to make sure that this is selected. So make chat publicly available, hosted chat, no notification. Don't worry about the initial message because we are going to change it anyway. And then here within the options, there are a couple of things that you need to change. First of all, you need to make sure that course is set to your website URL, or you can use the star, but by using the star, anyone can use your chatbot without even needing to be on the, the actual website. So this is not really safe. And here you need to set the response mode to using response to webhook node. Really important. So here are the next steps. You just need to choose an LLM model. So for this one, I'm using GPT-40. And here I'm using a conversational agent, uh, which uses the, the connected chat trigger node uh, for the input so that I don't have to modify this. I'm not requiring any specific output format. And then inside the option, I just put my prompt. So this is the system message. So that's the system message that you can, that you can use. Next, I'll add the Postgres chat memory. So that's really important. Otherwise the bot is going to keep looping and this is going, uh, this is not going to keep the com context of the conversation. So for that, I'm using Superbase. Uh, Superbase is actually really convenient because you can use it for chat memory, but you can also use it for the vector store database. And I will show you how in a second. Uh, so the table name is this one, which is automatically created inside Superbase. And the context window length is 10 for this one, but you can, you can also increase it if you like to. So next you need to make sure that you have a tool connected. So this tool is the knowledge base. So this is a Superbase vector store. Uh, so this is being called when we need information. So this is just used when needed, not all the time. And then here are limited to four iterations. So that's the basic setup. Uh, so in order to get the knowledge base inside the vector store superbase, we also need to add another workflow. So this is the RAG file manager. So I'll download this one onto the computer as well. And I will just create a new workflow so that you can see what it looks like. I'll save that one. I'll create a new workflow. And then here I'll click those three dots and then import from file and then drag file manager. Now I'm going to detail the process on how this one works. Basically, each, th each time there is a file updated or created uh, inside a specific Google Drive folder, this fetches the file, and then it looks for the it, it looks to see if the file already exists, and if it does, it deletes the document and then up the, updates it again. So this is basically downloading the file onto the NIT and server, and then extracting the text. So that's the reason why. We need to have it formatted properly. So this is a text file. 
And then here we are using also a Superbase vector store database and breaking the text into different parts. So if I just te test the workflow here, as you can see, this is processing and uh, this is loaded. So now we can basically chat with this knowledge base or use this knowledge base as a context for the conversation. Now we are going to put the, the actual AI agent inside the landing page. So first of all, you will want to go to site inside Boha high level and then add a new step and then you click edit or create new. And then here you will want to have, you just need to drag and drop the code. So we'll just click the add element button and then you just type code and drag it and drop it. And here inside this code, which you can get inside the community as well. So if you head over to the classroom inside the night and self hosted, you can see that we, we have the code already in here. So you just need to copy and paste it. Just need to make sure that you change it to match your own brand color. So this is what you need to ask ChatGPT to change. And you also need to change the webhook URL. So the webhook URL is basically here. And what you want to get from N8N is just the URL from the first node. So this one, chat URL, and you need to copy that and then just make sure that, that you turn the workflow on. And that's basically it. When you save this page and when you deploy it, it will be on the landing page just like that. So really simple, but really powerful because there is a lot of things that we can do with AI and AI agents. And this is actually a lot more powerful than um, AI employees from GHL.